Okay, we're just gonna fucking do it. We're just gonna fucking do it. Healing does not have to be... It doesn't have to be really, really drawn out. Um, I'm just gonna run us through a relatively pretty, you know, pretty fast, not super fast. Like we're gonna get, we're gonna get it done, but this isn't, this isn't really a relaxing meditation per se. This is a guided meditation and visualization with a purpose of finding a wound, being with it, and then clearing it out. So this is a clearing. This is what we're going to be doing. We're doing some work. You don't have to be laying down unless you want to. Um, you can even kind of be lost in your own little world if you want and just kind of listen to this in the background and just trust that your subconscious is going to give you a benefit. So if you want to be, you know, arranging your altar or, you know, just whatever it is you're doing, light activity, feel free. I'm getting some sage lit. We're getting the singing bowl. So the mother wound, which we are experiencing right now, is almost a bit of a surprise, I think, to so many people who expect our relationships with our men to be more, um, for lack of a better term, well, you know, they call it daddy issues, but you can actually call it the father wound. Um, daddy issues is way more fun and <laughs> but like the truth of the matter is, is these wounds run seriously deep. Um, so a lot of times when we are um, attracting certain partners into our life, it's quite common for someone to point out what's going on with your father how, how that relationship has affected, but they don't say as much about mother. So I've been doing some deep diving, y'all. Deep diving. And let me tell you, the mother wound has a shit ton to do with fucking relationships with men. And I'm here to break it down for y'all. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to break it down for myself. I'm here to break it down for y'all. I'm here to break it down for the collective. And the more people we have on board with doing this, the better the world will be. Okay? So thank you for tuning in tonight. Little energy report. There is definitely some major, major karmic upheaval. Major karmic upheaval. That's why I'm kind of prompted to do this video like now because I've been talking about it for a few days. Because I got the idea. Um. It popped into my existence. I think I was channeling, possibly channeling the idea. But it really made me remember um, a healing I had partaken in, um, in like 
I want to say mid-July, maybe, maybe the end of June, but I did a serious mother wound clearing. I got some juniper. So take deep breath. And just let's just set some intentions for this audio. Okay personal intentions and intentions for the collective. My personal intention is, well, I have two different personal intentions. I want to help everyone listening to this clear their mother wound. And I want to clear my own, any, any, any residuals that are popping back up because you really have to look at it like this stuff is coming up for a reason. It's coming up to be cleared. Mother wounds are not going to make it through the 2020. We are not here to carry this wounding any longer. We are here to break free. From the chains we are here to break free from anything that has been holding us back from our true desires so I'm really hoping that this healing comes at the right time for so many of you because it's the right time now um, So, to touch base, some of the things we're going to be um, working on clearing tonight from the mother wound should be mentioned that there is a lot of self-worth and solar plexus stuff going on with the mother wound, like not feeling... If you don't feel you're good enough, like, that's definitely that something can overspill and interfere with in your relationships, especially if you have a karmic relationship. Um, they are really going to be, you know, if you're willing to see it. You have to be willing to see this and you have to be willing to look at it like this. Um, and I got to see it from both perspectives today. I had my karmic, which I had already cut cords with. Um, so this was just a strange incidence coming up. But I, I allowed myself to touch on feeling that pain again. And just remembering how I went through feeling pain for such a very long time that it just seemed like it was the only state that I could be in for a long number of minutes, hours, days, weeks, years. Um, and since I've been doing healings, I have had a lot, lot, lot less of those days, but the crazy thing is is that it felt really unfamiliar to be dealing with him like it just felt very strange even though it was something that I was able to be used to for a very long time I guess um I don't know if I ever really got used to it I guess it was just the state of being that I was in while in a, in a relationship like that. And when you're manifesting, 
you know that you're hearing that your state of being is really the only thing. It's really the only thing ever holding you from what you really want. So, you know, you sometimes you have to just forgive yourself sometimes and karmics can especially trigger pain that you're feeling from the mother wound. And the good news is, is that this can be healed and it's, it's going to be super easy. Okay. So have some water with you too. Water's always good. And please comment back to me, um, you know, if you feel comfortable. Let me know if you notice that after doing this, there's less instances because you may need to do this in layers, but I really feel like you, you can make, if you've been doing healing, you might be only, you only need to do this maybe once or twice. Um, like I feel like this, doing this will be probably it for me because I'm leaving a lot of stuff in the 2020, but I did a major clearing in the summer. So this is your first clearing of any kind of mother wound. Um, just, you know, keep it in your mind that you can, you can keep this for maintenance, you know, leave, leave this in your, leave it in your back pocket. Like they say, um, if you feel like you need to, you know, get in and maybe do it again. Um, so breathe and we're just going to call some of our archangels into this space. Um, we're going to call our own personal ancestors into this space. Please be with us now. We are going to call the Twin Flame Personal Star Guides in for this. Breathe. And we're going to ask that our angels and our spirit guides who are with us now allow us to calm our minds, calm our bodies so that we can do a body scan. So just take a deep breath. And if you're sitting, just be straight. Allow your spine to just be up and down. Um, now at the top of your spine, at the back of your head, as it, as it grows up your head and out your crown, allow your crown chakra to open. And in the back of your head, we are going to activate the twin flame chakra and call in the teal or a quartz. Got a teal or a quartz here. We are going to just allow the pulsating from the teal or quartz to really clear that chakra. And we are going to allow that to be open, allow for a good flow going through that, keep our crowns connected, and then as you're still sitting up pretty straight, 
Now, really just ground your root, even if, you know, if you're sitting on a chair, if you're sitting wherever, and just open up the base, open up your root chakra with flaming emerald red, like ruby red but like emerald freaking red dark red and just allow that dark red to just run a cord down 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 through the down through the depths of the earth through the lava Putting an anchor on you, harnessing, harnessing the power of the diamond, wrapping our cords around the power of the diamond and allowing that to just flow up. And as we are connected, star chakra, crown chakra, third eye chakra, throat chakra, soul seat, activated heart chakra, higher heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral, root, and all the way down. We are going to ask that our angels and guides illuminate anywhere in this energy field right now and please allow us to know where in the body the location where our mother wound or wounds is stored so just breathe right now go ahead and just oh mine is in my womb Okay, so I'm getting a kind of a cramp in my womb. Um, wherever yours is, you're only you're going to know where that is for you. So feel that, okay? Now that you feel that, and feel free to pause this video if you need, the audio if you need. Um, if this brings up emotions for you or memories, ah, see, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more. If this brings up emotions and memories, um, allow yourself the time you need to, to picture that as you need and, um, cry that out if, if you see fit. because you gotta feel it to heal it okay i'm feeling mine right now as a cramping type pain uh right in my sacral chakra womb area so thank you pain for showing me where you are and Archangel Michael, we ask that you take your blue light sword and cut into this pain energetically and physically remove it on an energetic level for us here. So take some deep breaths in and just... Allow Archangel Michael to take that blue sword and just laser this entire pain just gone from your body, gone from your pain body, gone from your astral body, gone from your buddhic body gone from all consciousness gone is this mother wound from all time space and dimensions 
no longer serving us as we move forward in 2020. No longer do we carry this mother wound with us. And as Archangel Michael is just doing his thing, getting rid, getting rid, you're going to be left with an empty space. And this is, this is the space that it is now available for you to fill up with love and light. So that's what we're going to do now. If you need time to keep clearing, please do that and come back to the audio once you've cleared. Feel free to drink some water. Okay, so we have Archangel Josephine and... <sighs> She is so sweet. Like, I never knew her before, but she comes in for a lot of um, my coach Sarah's healing. So I like that she's here now. She has some diamondy white outfit. You know, she's got like a real aura, a real angel aura about her. So we're going to ask her for assistance along with our guides and ancestors and we are going to allow Archangel Josephine to shine her white light on our heart chakras and allowing her beautiful white diamond energy light to pierce open our heart chakras and now I want you to see the green illuminating light that emanates from your own heart chakra, your, your own love energy, pure emerald bright green just spilling into the universe. And what we are going to do now is um, let's call in Archangel Michael's beloved twin flame, Faith. Thank you so much for being here, both of you. Um, Archangel Faith, can you please guide our heart energies? Help us guide this green heart energy so that we may pour it into where our mother wounds were okay so we are visualizing now our green energy being directed towards our wounds and allowing this empty space that our wounds are gone from allowing this empty space to be filled with this green light of our own love. And you're going to feel this. Um, just breathe through it. And just allow... Just allow to fill up and you're going to be feeling like oxytocin. You're going to be feeling like how, how would a baby feel being held in the arms of a loving mother? This is, this is the, this is the love now that is getting to be stored inside of you where pain once was taking that place. So as long as, um, you know, as long as you are allowing, just allow this, um, this new energy this new energy. Um, this is this is kind of like a reset 
um, in a way. So just really um, take this in, take this in. You are fully connected right now. You have your root all the way down to the diamonds. You have your crown chakra and your soul star chakra all the way up. Just right here in the universe. You are the universe. You are the universe. You are the creator of your own reality. You get to say what's in your energy field and what's not. And what we have in our energy field right now is pure love, pure source energy, universal love, universal energy. And just be, just be connected. Definitely pause this. Stay in this as long as you can. If you can play other chakra music and just remain here, please do for as long as you can. I'm going to try to remain here while talking you all down. So if you decide to pause the video here, just when you're ready to come back down and um, disconnect a little bit and say goodbye to our guides, um, then play this again. Okay. Thank you, guides. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael and Beloved Faith. Thank you so much, Archangel Josephine. And right now we're going to allow, allow the intensity to dissipate naturally. And just kind of breathe into the new you. Um, shake your hands out a little. Feel free to move around. You might want to have a dance or a stretch, a shower, you know, whatever. Um, but they say that you attract what you are. So if what we were was wounded, then we were attracting wounded unknowingly, okay, unknowingly. So you have to forgive yourself for this, this stuff. But when you take the opportunity like you did to heal certain wounds and then replace that pain with pure loving energy well then that get that makes you a little bit more of a magnet to pure loving energy so you know um if you just look at yourself like a magnet and you know you're removing you're removing stuff sometimes one by one sometimes a lot And just keep breathing into it and make sure you drink a lot of water because working with energy like that, um, it needs, it needs like it, the energy needs fed. And the water, um, you're going to really just feel this water regenerating you pretty much. Feels good. So do something nice for yourself. 
um yeah thanks for what thanks for listening to this video i hope that it helped you and i could definitely make a longer version i think if um we wanted to walk down some paths of going down to certain memories because i know there's a lot of um there's a lot of real memories so keep in mind this is kind of a general overview that usually does it but if you feel that you have a specific situation and you need some personal attention about it and a light hypnosis to kind of clear that out feel free to email me that's part of what I do I can make packages for um, exactly whatever you need um, so Sometimes that's a three clearing session. Sometimes it's just one session on a specific um, topic, but we will get you fixed up, whatever it is you need. So I'm just going to play on the singing bowl a little bit and then fade out. So good night, everyone, or good morning, whenever you're watching this. And much love, blessings, and healing to you. Namaste.